over the past 30 years? Over the last 30 years. Over the last 30 years. Over the last 30 years, if there's one thing we've learned to do better and where economists have contributed, is to actually get a much better understanding of how to actually deal with uh, the macroeconomy, basic macro stability, bringing inflation under control, getting somehow uh, exchange rates not to misaligned and so on, to create at least one of these basic conditions that development needs to be able to grow its economy, create jobs and get people a better livelihood. The right balance of the state and the market is critical. And there's been a big movement from a situation in 85 where the state was dominant to backing off, allowing the market space, and then probably a rebalancing that would give the state a more proactive role in, in guiding the economy. So I think getting that balance right is the work of 30 years, and we've probably got a, a better balance now than in 1985. What are the pathways from a resource-rich economy, which is an easy source of government revenue, but not a source of jobs, not a source of productivity improvements, not a source of demand for a lot of domestic industry. So what are the pathways from that economy to a job-rich growth, growth pattern? I, I've been in a position of advising some African governments, for example, on macroeconomic policy, but I'm not African, I'm, and I'm not advising my government on our own macro policy. It means you have to partner much more deeply and try to build capacity along with the position of being in an, an advisory role. As economists, we can't simply be technocrats, simply assume that everything has a very simple silver bullet, a simple technical solution, a theoretical solution, something that may have worked somewhere else. We have to be better at understanding why economies are held back in some countries. Over the next 30 years. Over the next 30 years. Over the next 30 years. Economists have been really good at describing what's wrong, looking back and explaining what has been happening. We often lack a good evidence base to be propositional, to change things. To me, the biggest role that economists have is to try to bring evidence to well-defined questions that can inform policy. Climate science has finally convinced the world, based on evidence, that there's a first order issue here. And we've got a good sense of trajectories of impact of climate change. Economists can take those inputs and start to develop evidence on what efficacious responses are going to look like, what impacts on productivity are going to look like. So there, there's a, a realm in which I, I expect economists to make a whole set of, of contributions. Thank you.